Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp notifications on every JotForm submission. So imagine this, a guy called as John has made a submission on JotForm and you want to send a thank you message to this guy on WhatsApp. Now the problem is there is no direct data flow between JotForm and WhatsApp. So in cases like these, we have to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate JotForm and WhatsApp. So what Pabli Connect will do is, anytime a new submission is generated, it will automatically send a notification on WhatsApp. Now this little integration can be done in few easy steps. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Jot Form to WhatsApp. Jot Form to WhatsApp. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Jot Form? Because we want to send the data from Jot Form. That is why. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new response? Okay, so new response is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new response is made, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new response. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new response is made in JotForm. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate JotForm to Pabli Connect. So basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate JotForm and Pabli Connect. So let me take you to JotForm. Okay, so this is my JotForm account and these are the forms I have. And one of these form is kids registration form. So basically I want to receive the data from this particular form. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on edit form. Okay, so this is the form, kids registration form. Then I'm going to click on this button called as settings. Click on settings. Okay, so here you will find the option called as integrations. Click this. Okay, so here you have to select this one, webhooks. Click this. Okay, so as you can see, there is already a webhook set up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this webhook. Okay, so just uh, click on remove integration. Okay, so just I can click on yes, remove. Okay, so this webhook has been removed. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going back to webhooks once again. Okay, then I'm going to add one more webhook. So let me just remove this HTTP part. So basically here you have to fill in the webhook URL. Now, so to get the webhook URL, let me go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so we have added the webhook URL. Now just click on add new webhook. Okay, so basically at this point we have added a webhook URL. All we have to do is just click on complete integration. Okay, so as you can see the integration, it is showing the integration is ready. So basically we have uh, integrated this particular form that is kids registration form to Pabli Connect. So basically it means that whenever there is a response created in this particular form, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and click on this button, capture webhook response, click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going back to my form. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this link. Okay, and I'm just going to open this in a new tab. Okay. Okay, so imagine this a person is filling in the form. So these are the details of the form. 
okay so the age is uh, 13 okay so this is the email aaron manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com the name is aaron the last name is manuel and this is my contact info okay so i have filled in my contact info so all i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on submit okay so the form has been submitted now uh, since public connect is integrated with this uh, particular form let's check whether public connect has captured this data or not so i'm going back to public connect yes the data has been captured so these are the details so as you can see the name is uh, aaron manuel okay so these are the whole bunch of details we have the aaron manuel age 13 email is this this is the contact info okay and then we have uh, this is the email once again and this is the contact number so basically we have to send the confirmation message we are planning to send the confirmation message on this particular whatsapp number this particular mobile number now to send the confirmation message all i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as chat api because we will be using chat api to send the whatsapp messages okay so now in the action event how about we make it as send message now send message is an action event there are many more action events like create group send file send link send location all of them are bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you don't find the action events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to send a message via chat api then click on connect with chat api so in the new credentials we have uh, two blanks to fill the api url as well as the token now to get the api url let me take you back to uh, let me take you to a uh, chat api so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to copy this whole url so this is your api url i'm just going to copy this okay and i'm just going to paste it here okay so we have entered the api url now coming to the part called as the token i'm just copying this once again okay copying this and simply pasting it here okay so we have entered the api url we have entered the token just click on save okay so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of uh, these blanks is very simple we are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from uh, jot form and send it via whatsapp so before we start mapping in the details let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us okay so before we start mapping in the data uh, let me introduce you to this button this is called as the mapping button so when we click this you will find all the data that we have received from our jot form now this is the phone number we want all we are going to do here is i'm just uh, going to click here and the number gets mapped so how about we just map this number okay uh, there are actually two three options we have yeah this is the number we want this is the phone number okay so now coming to the part called as the message so i'm just uh, typing in thank you thank you mr miss and then i'm just uh, going to scroll down and enter the email or the name thank you mr aaron and then i'm just going to enter a blank and just going to map in the name so this is the name manuel i think it was manuel okay yeah this is the last name manuel thank you mr aaron manuel okay for filling out the form okay so it's all upper casing we have to change it for filling out the form so this is your age it's actually pretty redundant we don't want to do this but uh, okay let's enter the age okay and this is your email id okay and this is your email id so where is our email id yeah okay so this is the message uh, thank you mr aaron manuel for filling out the form so this is your age age 13 and this is your email id okay and this is the phone number so basically it will send all this data to this phone number so let me do that let me just uh, click on save and send test request to uh, send the whatsapp message so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on save and send test request so let us check what will happen okay so the api response is showing that the message has been sent to whatsapp okay so let me show you the message that uh, this guy called as aaron manuel has received okay so as you can see this is the message 
thank you mr miss aaron manuel for filling out the form and uh, so this is your age 13 and this is your email id aaron manuel 991 at the rate gmail.com excellent so the presence of this message in whatsapp shows that we have successfully integrated jot form and whatsapp with help of papi connect so about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but uh, before we do that let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to minimize this action window okay and i'm going to minimize this trigger window okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated jot form to pabli connect and then you have integrated pabli connect to chat api so now there's a perfect flow of data between jot form and chat api so that is why we are getting messages on whatsapp so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going back to my jot form i'm copying this uh, url okay so this is the link of this uh, form okay and i'm going to fill in some details so this time we are going to fill in as uh, tom cruise the age is uh, 16 okay and this is the contact info okay so i have entered the contact just click on submit Okay, so a submission has been made. So let's have a look into this guy's uh, WhatsApp message. I mean, Tom Cruise WhatsApp message. Uh, did he really receive the message? Okay, so yeah, so this is the message. Okay, so the presence of this message shows that our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new form submission is made in short form, it will be reflected as a message via WhatsApp. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.